Do be careful. That enemy's strong. It looks strong. Watch out! Man, took you guys long enough. I was getting fed up waiting here. Thought you might have died on the way or something. You just can't hold back anymore, can you? His overwhelming power is pouring out. The black flames that engulf all. McBurn, do you remember what you said to me two years ago? Interesting. You mix by any chance? Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself, different to the Church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. So how much of you is unnatural? All of me. Yeah. I remember our nice little chat on the Pantagruel. The Pantagruel? That must have been during the Civil War. So that's what they talked about. I finally understand what you meant back then. That part of me that was mixed in is Osborne's heart. It's not only the source of this power of mine, but also what connected me to the curse and made me a sacrifice. Marine! <sighs> <laughs> Don't give me too much credit. I just had a hunch is all. But looking at you now, it's much more than just a small part of you. 
Nothing compared to me, though. Well, of course not. How could I compare, when you're not even from this world to start with? Right, McBurn? <clears throat> he, he's not from this world? What does that even mean? None of this makes any sense. We were raised to believe that this was the one true world created by Adios. In fact, we're incapable of even considering otherwise. The existence of angels and devils on other planes was as much as we were allowed to understand. But we can't even contemplate the idea that anything might exist beyond the bounds of Zamiria. What do you... There's... something beyond Zamiria? This is an example of the divergent laws, things we simply cannot understand or even begin to explain. For example, no matter how far you try to fly or sail away from the continent, you're unable to progress past a certain point. What? You're kidding me! It's not a well-known phenomenon, but it was recently verified through research. Despite a number of attempts to figure out why, science simply can't give us an answer. Yet, similarly to the artifacts, it's something that backs the existence of Adios. Ah, oh, so that's where she comes in. By attributing everything we don't understand to Adios, we stop thinking for ourselves. Given my position, this isn't something I'm especially proud of. But the Church's stance is that so long as order is maintained in the world, we shouldn't do anything to disrupt it. The mages and witches of the Middle Ages weren't quite as commendable, however. As such, we theorize there must be something else behind all of the mysterious events we've noticed throughout the centuries. The Divergent Laws. In other words, the laws that govern what lies beyond the world Adios created. And at times, certain things from beyond make it into our world, causing inexplicable phenomena. <sighs> Inexplicable phenomena. Now that you mention it. That does ring a bell, huh, Sarah? Oh. Yeah, it makes sense now. Inexplicable is the only word I can think of to describe the salt pail appearing in North Ambria 28 years ago. Yeah. It was an anomaly on a massive scale, but there was no evidence of it being related to a septarium. After it appeared, Father Barkhorn went to conduct an investigation on it. But to be honest, the church wasn't able to reach any kind of conclusion on where it came from, so it was simply deemed a manifestation of the goddess's powers. No one can blame them for that. We're all human in the end, and some things we simply can't understand. Yet, in spite of that, there was one group who became obsessed with discovering the truth behind it all. They were ravenous in their pursuit, willing to go to any length, no matter how vile or demonic. Wait! You don't mean... The DG Cult. Though they focused their efforts in Crossbell, they were operating all over the continent. In truth, though, they were being controlled by the Kreuz family the whole time. Huh. Say what you want about those cultists, but they pulled off something amazing. They're the ones who created Gnosis. A drug that frees you from the shackles of this world. They made something like that? But more importantly, assuming this is all true, then... McBurn, you really are someone from beyond this world, aren't you? Hell, are you even human? <laughs> You're half right. <laughs> What is that? The other half of me. The part of me from beyond. The half of me from here was human. That's why I look the way I do. And before you start asking, no. I don't remember a thing about what the other side is like. Only thing I remember is when my two halves fused together. We collided. Ourselves mixing together so completely, there was no way to split us apart. And in the end, we became me. 
So that's what you meant when you said all of you was mixed. It's like when the Holy Beast and the Hexen Clan's Elder merged into one. No, Emma. He's on a completely different level from Rose. But if that's true, then... His true essence is that of a calamity given form. Just like the Salt Pail. Now you're starting to catch on. It's been 50 years since I appeared in this world. I've been trying to figure out what I really am the whole time. Trying to dredge up any scrap of memories from where I came from. Trying to figure out what I'm even doing here. The one thing I knew for sure was that I'd need to return to my original form to get everything back. Thing is, if I did that, I'd absolutely annihilate everything around me. Just like how the Salt Pail did. That's why this Great Twilight business is the perfect chance. The reality of the world's already being twisted and warped by all this strife they're using to reforge the Great One. So I don't have to worry one bit if my true self completely tears it apart! Huh. Is he... That devil? Yes! This feels right! This is it! My memories are still missing, though. I figured as much. I was hoping I'd be able to take on Osborne, but I guess you'll have to do. Now, give me everything you got. Draw out my full power so I can get back everything I lost. I guess we have no choice. Class 7, prepare for battle. On my pride as a witch, I'll hold back this Calamity's flames. I'll back you up, but you guys better win, no matter what it takes! Right! Now this is a stage! Give me everything you got! Hold back! Roar! Ah! <gasps> Strike! <laughs> I'll treat you immediately! Thanks. All right! Showtime! <laughs> it's my turn! Huh? <laughs> I got this. Now, eat this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. Yeah! You're wide <laughs> open! It's my turn! Roar! Ah! <gasps> uh, Helix strike! <laughs> now! How about this? My turn. All yours. I'll take over. Right! Too slow. I got this. Now. Let's go. Good luck. Leave it to me. 
Petrifying shells loaded! You're not going anywhere! <laughs> it's my turn! Arcus, activate! <laughs> Let's go! Right! It's off balance! Yeah! How about this? Damn it! Yes! Huh? I got this! Hold fast! Black Tortoise Formation! I got this! Tag out! Leave it to me! Roar! Uh, Helix Strike! <laughs> it's down! Let's go, everyone! Leave it Got to it. me! Understood! <laughs> Eternally float. <laughs> it's my turn. Switch with me! I'm up! Now, eat this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. It's down! Attack! <laughs> uh. I'll handle this. I leave it to you. I'll handle it. Activate Ragara! Destroy! <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll use this! <laughs> Strength depleted. I'm sorry. Yes! Thank you. I'm going. Arcus, activate. My turn. Tag out. Watch and learn. How do you like this? Wait. How about? <laughs> it's my turn. Good luck. Leave it to me. You can't escape. I shall go. Charging! Come forth, Goliath Noah! Eh. Yeah. Yeah. This is the end! I got your back! <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Uh, don't give up! Thank you. <laughs> Moving out. <laughs> Thank you. It's my turn! Chop, chop. <laughs> I shall go. Switch. I'm up. Now. <laughs> Back at you. Damn it. Moving out. All yours. Leave it to me. It's down. Attack. Watch and learn. <laughs>